Newswag.com. Newswag.com. Yay! Hi, folks. Just an interesting thought. Um, Will. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know what that noise is. It's dark. I'm just walking them. The um, people who were, the two guys, I think two guys, who were up on the uh, bridge and they had to hire out a crane, will they be getting the bill? I mean, after all, you know, if um, you drop a bit of litter in your garden, the counts have to come round and clean it. They often send you the bill. So, will that be the case for this? Hang on. Just somebody getting nearby. Um, oh, driving off the car, um, if they're driving. Now, I don't know what the legal situation there is, but it'd be interesting. I, mean, I presume ju- just stop all got um, insurance. I mean, these days you have to, I think, to demonstrate you have to have insurance, don't you? Something you seem to have to have. Oh, so I'm just crossing the road. Um, you seem to have to have insurance for everything these days. Um, but also, if you've been stopped from travelling, um, you know, you, they've sat in the road. To me, I'd imagine, you know, if you've been late for work or it's cost you money, um, would you have a legal case financial against these people? Because in reality, they've gone beyond protesting. They've gone to the extent of trapping people, preventing their movement. Um, to me, it's no different to me coming up to you and putting handcuffs on you and handcuffing you to the rails. Uh, I mean, it's not a protest. And like I keep saying, I support the green issues, but what they've done is put people off. Um, this pretense, they're egotistical. Um, I suspect left-wing, self-centred, um, self-righteous types who believe they're right and everyone else is wrong. And they weren't listening. I mean, I think they have put people at risk because they couldn't get to, you know, hospitals or the vets or whatnot. And we saw ambulances turning around. Um, I mean, for all they know, when, I mean, when these guys are on this bridge, they don't know if people won't try to get to the hospital. You know, they're so self-centred. I mean, could an ambulance get through there? I don't know. But I don't see... I see some people not supporting what they're doing, but the ideology, which is fair enough, like I keep saying, I'm support green issues. I'm not going to support what you do. I think it is disgraceful. Um, I think it's shameful, actually. But, you know, a lot of these people claiming the teacher, ex-teachers or whatnot, so they must have a house and stuff, so, you know, I, I hope people do sue you guys. Um, then you won't worry about your bills because you'll be, you know, out on the street, basically. You won't have to worry about any of this stuff. Um, I mean, I say that generally, I do hope people take legal action because why should they suffer financially because of your ideology? You know, I just because I'm green, I know it doesn't mean I should force my beliefs on other people. There is a difference between demonstrating and forcing an ideology. Whether it's correct or not is irrelevant. You can't just um, force people to comply. And you certainly can't force people to suffer financially or whatever. So, I mean, if somebody's even two minutes late for work, I mean, some people might have got sacked. Or they've lost money because of, you know, these people. Well, I, I, I hope, I would hope that it's not difficult to, you know, and not go after, well, just, get, I mean, there's just, uh, just stop oil, the organisation. Also, the people directly. I mean, you know, I think people have an idea of who they are, or some of them, and I think that would be the um, appropriate action. Um, There we go.